everyone welcome back to my channel the video for today is going to be a little bit different um if you don't know yet my name is Martinette and i'm an occupational therapist and me and some of my friends that work with me are going to get the COVID 19 vaccine tomorrow the johnson and johnson vaccine so we wanted to make this video to be informative, to show you our journey for getting the vaccine and afterwards the possible side effects. And we also wanna share why we decided to get the vaccine and link some of the research we did below. So everything we talk about will be linked below. So you can also go and check out the resources we checked out before we get the vaccine. The reason why I decided to get the vaccine is obviously to make sure that if I get COVID, hopefully, that it, that it won't be a severe disease and then also my husband and I are maybe thinking about starting a family in the near future and um, I was thinking when I get the vaccine then hopefully when I get pregnant and I get COVID that it won't be as severe like ending up in ICU or um, affecting the pregnancy so that's why I decided to get the vaccine. Hi, my name is Yolandi. I am a physiotherapist working with Martinet and I will also be getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine tomorrow. I'm very excited about it. So um, I'm just thinking, initially I thought I'm not going to get it, not at all. don't want to do it. I had COVID, I've got antibodies and I realized I don't have antibodies anymore. And um, when they phoned me and they said, okay, so do you want to do this? I was just like, yes, let's go. I got so excited, didn't really think about it. Afterwards, I did research it a bit. Um, I'm very comfortable with getting the vaccine. Um, I'm dead sure we're not going to get a chip on our shoulders. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm just very excited for it. And I think it's time for us to end this pandemic. Morning everyone! It's still bright and early and we're on our way to go get vaccinated. Um, we still live in South Africa so we have to travel about 300 kilometers to get to the hospital to get vaccinated but we're on our way. Say hello! Hello! <laughs> hey! So let me introduce you. This is Kendra. Hey! Um, she's also a physiotherapist working with us. Ken, why do you want to get the vaccine? I want to get the vaccine so that I increase my chances of survival if I do contract COVID because we are handling COVID patients all the time. Oh, Ken, how was it? It wasn't bad. <laughs> I felt like I gymmed the arm. That's yeah. what it really felt like. I have a little bit of sensitivity, but that's it. Yeah, and actually a Voltaren or a vitamin B injection is much worse. Yeah. So the injection itself wasn't bad. I just feel like I don't want to pick up something heavy with this arm for oh. a while. Yeah. Are you? Are you? Yoli? How was so, it? Um, the initial prick wasn't anything. It wasn't bad at all. Then I could feel it going down my arm a little bit. Mm -hmm. I had a little bit of pain down my arm for a bit. Already gone. Yeah, it's just heavy around here, the vaccination side. But other than that, it's all good. <laughs> Okay, so it's about an hour later now. Um, I'm experiencing a little bit of a, like a bitter taste in my mouth, almost like aloe. And then there's a tingly sensation on my tongue, like right in the middle of my tongue. It feels a bit tingly. Nothing serious. 
still breathing fine. And then um, just like a burning sensation, specifically in this part of my arm, my hand, but that I felt from the beginning. So it comes and goes. And um, that's all so far. I'm going to take a paracetamol because I'm feeling like I'm starting to get a headache. But it could just be from the car ride because I used to suffer from <laughs> I'm super tired now. Warm and swollen. We are home and we're okay. <laughs> how are you feeling? Good. Okay. Ken, how are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling fine. I was really tired in the car. Almost like symptoms of car sickness, but now I feel good. Not tired anymore. A little bit of sensitivity, but that's mm. it. And it's about four hours. Yeah. Okay. So we'll update you tomorrow <laughs> morning everyone i had kind of a rough night <laughs> okay so when i got home last night it was about six o'clock um i had the worst 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 back ache i like muscle pains in my back and my hips and then i kept on getting goosebumps um and my skin was very sensitive like all over my body my skin was sensitive <laughs> so i went to take a bath took two panados and slept early and then at around three o'clock in the morning i woke up i had the worst headache um and i was very cold <laughs> so um i took another panado and slept right away and then when I woke up this morning, my sheets and my pajamas are soaking wet. So I must have had very bad sweats during the night. So I'm wondering if I didn't have fever because I was cold and um, now I'm soaking wet from the sweat. <laughs> so, but I'm fine now. The headache is gone. I don't feel, I feel fine. Yeah, so I'm fine now. I think the bananas helped. Okay, let's see how the day goes. Hi everyone, it's about five o'clock um, on Saturday today and I'm feeling much better. <laughs> I'm feeling fine. I had a bit of body aches again this morning, um, but I did manage to go to work. Um, I did fine. I was able to do everything. I was able to drive um, the distance I have to drive to work. So yeah, I'm fine. Um, I'm feeling much better. I did sleep a bit this afternoon. <laughs> But other than that, I'm good. Hi, so um, I'm still here. I'm on day one post-vaccination. Um, let me just update you on my symptoms since yesterday. So I had, last night I had still the tingling on my tongue, burning sensation down both arms, um, which is a bit of a neural, neural symptoms, uh, which is also normal, I think. And then that went away around 11 p.m. I started having the chills, freezing cold, whole body shivering, shaking. Um, I just tried to keep myself warm, managed to fall asleep. Then around 1 p.m. I woke up soaking wet, very high fever, terrible body aches, took two panados and that seemed to um, bring the fever down a bit. Um, I felt better even though the body aches didn't go away uh, I managed to go to work so I worked about four or five hours today in the hospital saw quite a few patients um, didn't feel too bad even though my body is really sore especially lower back pain feels like a kidney infection um, you know also typical viral symptoms it feels like I'm just having a bad flu even though I've managed to work they did take my temperature at the hospital um, I did not it did not show a temperature even though it feels like I'm a bit warm but yeah so then by 12 p.m. 24 hours later I started feeling better whether that was just the symptoms easing or the panado kicking in again um, yeah the rest of the day I spent spring cleaning my house probably shouldn't have should have rested but I managed to do a bit of that as well and now I'm having body aches again but not too bad nothing that I haven't had before with any other like flu-like symptoms or flu-like viral infections so I've definitely been worse off in my life 
but at least we know that the vaccine is doing what it's supposed to do and hopefully my body is now um, producing some antibodies against the COVID. I must just say that what I'm experiencing now is more or less the same symptoms as I had when I had COVID. So um, that kind of makes me feel a bit better. So it seems like it's doing the right thing. Okay. So the first 24 hours was the worst as to be expected. So eight hours in, I felt extremely cold. It didn't matter what measures I took. I just couldn't warm up. I had the sharp pain going down my arm, especially into these two fingers. Um, I had a lot of skin sensitivity, more than body aches and pains, so in my chest, lower back and hands. had a little bit of lower back pain, but really not too bad. So I took two panados, but then I started sweating profusely, so all the measures I took were counterproductive. Couldn't fall asleep on Friday. Eventually fell asleep at about 1am on Saturday. Woke up at about 7am, groggy, tired, headache and really thirsty. So I spent most of my Saturday just in and out of naps, 15 to, to about 30 minutes at a time. And I had weird muscle contractions in my stomach as if it was hiccuping. That was my first 24 hours. Hi, we are on day two post vaccination. Uh, today I'm feeling as fit as a fiddle. We are out eating and having a good time. We actually still have to wear our masks. And I'm here with Ken the physio. So let's hear what she's feeling. So since about 5 p.m. last night, I've had no symptoms. I'm feeling fresh. I've got all my energy back and it feels like I'm back to normal. So everything's good here. And it's nice to be out and it's nice to have our energy back and not have any symptoms. Yeah. Hi everyone. I just wanted to tell you it's Sunday morning. I am feeling fine. <laughs> um, no symptoms, my arm is not sore, nothing. I had a good night. So it's basically just that first 24 hours that was a bit bad. But um, yeah, I think it was worth it. So thank you for watching my video. Um, I hope this was informative. Um, I want to remind everyone who's watching, please keep on wearing your masks, wash your hands. We're not over this yet. And if you guys <laughs> like DIY videos, subscribe to my channel and please share this video with other people you think can benefit from this information. And um, yeah, I hope everybody is safe and that everybody has a nice day. Okay, bye.